Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is full of deep-cut jokes and references. I've seen videos and articles rounding up a bunch of them, and some have gotten a lot of attention already, like Nobot and Mr. Bones, but I put together a list of 10 that I haven't seen talked about as much. So here are my top 10 most obscure Star Wars references that I've found, so far anyway. Number 10. As Rey and Finn steal the Millennium Falcon in The Force Awakens, Rey can be seen reading a blue instruction manual of sorts. That's a real book from Haynes, a company that publishes actual workshop and repair manuals for cars in the real world. But they also have the occasional fun with fandoms. They've got a manual for the DeLorean from Back to the Future, the Enterprise from Star Trek, and they've done two editions on the YT-1300 modified Corellian freighter that is the Millennium Falcon. They've also also done books on the TIE Fighter, Rebel Starfighters, and the Death Star. Number 9. On Endor, travel down towards the bottom of the Ewok village to find Wicket's hut. Inside, you can solve a puzzle where you assemble a family portrait of Wicket and a handful of humans. The reassembled picture is actually a direct recreation of a publicity photo from Caravan of Courage, the made-for-TV movie about the Ewoks from 1984, which tells the story of a family that crash lands on Endor and receives help from Wicket and his family. I loved that movie as a kid. I borrowed it from my library constantly. If you've never seen it, both Ewok movies are on Disney+. Plus. They're not great, I'll warn you. I probably drove my parents insane watching it so many times, but it still holds a warm place in my heart, and seeing a reference to it in the game gave me the biggest smile. Does this appearance make the Tawani family canon? I wouldn't go that far, but it certainly doesn't hurt. Number 8. In the mission You Reap What You Solo in The Force Awakens, you can find the Ark of the Covenant on Han Solo's ship. That's fun on its own, but you might be saying, wait a minute, this isn't a Star Wars reference, this is an Indiana Jones reference. Well, fans of the Clone Wars might know that there is a Star Wars version of the Ark of the Covenant seen in the episode Liberty on Ryloth. Made by the Twi'leks, it was stolen by the Separatists. But let's keep going. The Force Awakens Incredible Cross Sections reference book says that Han's freighter, where we find the Ark in the game, has a locked cargo module marked with the number 9906753. Han and Chewie never found out what was inside. That's the same number that marks the crate that holds the Ark of the Covenant at the end of Raiders of the Lost Ark. So it stands to reason that Han's freighter had the Ryloth Ark in it. And now we have finally found it and destroyed it for a mini kit. That's worth it, right? Number seven. In A New Hope, in the mission The Best Laid Plans, you have to get the Death Star's elevators working again. While you do that, a frustrated Imperial officer whines about them being down over the intercoms, and he will eventually complain about being unable to reach the Hard Heart Cantina. That location on the Death Star was first created for the Legends novel, Death Star, and was said to be a popular spot for Imperial officers. After you get the elevators working again, some stormtroopers say they should hurry up and get there before they run out of trays. I I think that's a bonus reference to a joke from the comedian Eddie Izzard, who wonders what eating on the Death Star must have been like. Number 6. You can unlock the Rancor Keeper, Malakili, as a playable character. To do so, he sends you on a mission and talks about his beloved Rancor, Patissa. That name was first established in the novel Aftermath, Life Debt by Chuck Wendig. But you can also look at Malakili's character description, which says he called his late Rancor, Patissa Moochie. In Season 1 of The Bad Batch, Clone Force 99 is hired to steal a Rancor named Moochie for Jabba. Fans wondered if that was a contradiction or a retcon. At the time, I figured it was a different Rancor because Jabba was known to have multiple creatures. Now it looks like they are one and the same. I wouldn't take LEGO Star Wars to be strictly canon, but it does kind of make sense. According to the Star Wars Legacy comics, Patissa is a term of endearment, meaning sweetie or darling. So Moochie might have been the Rancor's actual name, and Patissa could have been more of a nickname, which makes the Rancor's death much sadder. Number 5. In the final mission of The Rise of Skywalker, Be With Me, as Rey fights against the Sovereign Protectors, Palpatine claims he wanted to name his granddaughter Kira because he thought it sounded cooler. That's a behind-the-scenes reference to the development of Rey's character. Kira was Rey's name for most of the development of Episode 7. According to Daisy Ridley in a 2017 interview, that was her name even when they had begun principal photography in Abu Dhabi, and then J.J. Abrams changed it to Rey. The name Kira would eventually be used for Han's love interest in Solo, A Star Wars Story. Number 4. 
In the first mission for The Force Awakens, First Order of Business, if you wander the halls of the Star Destroyer and listen to some of the Stormtroopers' dialogue, a couple of them will have a fun conversation about Kylo Ren. One will tell the other about a mission to the planet Benathi, where Kylo Ren dove into the mouth of a Zillow Beast. The Zillow Beast is a giant creature from the Clone Wars, but the mission the Stormtrooper describes is also something that actually happened. You can read about it in the Kylo Ren issue of the comic Age of Resistance. I love a good, obscure comic reference, which you'll be able to see because the rest of this list is all obscure comic references. Number 3. During the Geonosian Arena battle, Jango Fett calls Mace Windu, Kiati Mundi, and Kit Fisto Jedi dogs. Kit Fisto claims he doesn't have dogs on his home planet and suggests he be called a Wu-Rid instead. Those creatures have been mentioned one time ever in the comic Jedi of the Republic Mace Windu, where they are said to be large, slow-moving carnivores with massive jaws full of razor-sharp teeth and slimy skin full of paralytic neurotoxins. It doesn't sound like Wurids are very dog-like, but I suppose it's the closest thing the planet Gleanselm has. Number 2. In the first mission of A New Hope, called Boarding Hope, Leia will eventually receive a hollow transmission from Admiral Akbar. He mentions a trap, which is a very subtle nod to a line very few Star Wars fans know about or quote from Return of the Jedi. Okay, I'm kidding on that one, but Akbar does have an obscure line where he mentions the Great Unginous Trench. That location is on his aquatic home world of Mon Cala and can be seen in Charles Soule's Darth Vader comics, specifically the 15th issue. Darth Vader finds himself underwater in the trench where he is attacked by a massive sea creature, which he, of course, defeats. And for number one, I am going with a room you can find in the Masasi Temple on Yavin 4. Inside and up near the top, you can find a map room with a puzzle inside. There are circles on the floor and you need to place crystals in specific spots. Doing so will reward you with a kyber brick, and you will complete a puzzle called the Ordu Espectu. Ooh, I love this one. That's taken from the third issue of the Dr. Aphra comics. Aphra is a rogue archaeologist, and after the rebels abandon the temple as their base, she and her father visit it with some special crystals that they have to place in the floor at specific points, which then guides their way to the location of an ancient hidden group of force users called the Ordu Espectu. I love the Dr. Aphra comics, and seeing a nod to them was not something I expected when I started playing LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. And those are my top 10 most obscure Star Wars references in the game. So far, anyway. Maybe I'll do another list as I continue exploring in free play. I'm sure there are plenty more to find. Let me know your favorite obscure Easter eggs in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.